My name is Alan Martin. I'm one of the sales engineers in business development. I'm with SRI Sarnoff and we're located in Princeton, New Jersey. Well, the products that we have are iris recognition and there are some differentiators with our product. We do it on the move and at a distance. And the markets that we service, military markets, any type of secure area that needs to have certain access for people or, or not allow access. So you could have front entries, you could have evidence lockers, evidence rooms, uh, access points to data centers, etc. This product here, this is our outdoor glance. This is the only outdoor iris solution that's available today in the marketplace. And what differentiates our systems, as I mentioned earlier, is really the way that we do the iris capture. It's being done on the move and at a distance. We're database agnostic, so regardless of whose iris database you're using, we could just tie in with that. And really the magic is in how we capture the iris data. And I'll just show you how quickly the system works. What I'll do is I'll walk up to the system, I'll look down at it, and within a second I'm recognized by the system. It can be tied in with an access control point, whether it's a door, electronic lock, turnstile, whatever it is, and it will then allow me into the facility. This is our handheld device. It's a multimodal device, so it's using facial recognition as well as iris recognition. And it's a very easy system to use. You just register the person, which takes a minute or so. And then once their information is in the, ba in the database, you're able to capture their iris data as well as facial recognition. In order to use the system, I basically line the subject up with the device, snap an image, and then what will happen is it'll come up and it'll say that it's been recognized, it's doing facial, there's a silhouette of the face, and then the iris has been matched, there's the eye. It takes one to two seconds for it to do that. So I'm Vince Paragano, I'm the product director for the TerraSite suite of products with SRI Sarnoff. What we have is the TerraScout mobile command post is retrofitted in the back of a Hummer, military Hummer vehicle, and a various array of sensors are mounted on the vehicle, including our verifier system, which fuses in real time the visible and the IR spectrum. Uh, we also have our Terra Scout sensor suite, which is a 30-foot mast uh, mounted on top of which are visible and IR sensors that can be steered by the operator in the back of the vehicle or sitting up front in the passenger vehicle as the commander. And uh, what I'd like to do is talk to you about our TerraSite suite First up here is the Terra Scout MCP. This is our mobile command post. It's really an extension of the FOB in terms of the sensors are shared with the FOB and we can exchange video and sensor control on a priority basis with the FOB. Additionally, we can handle dismounted activity by pushing the video, uh, the salient portions of the video, which is important here in this application in that if there's objects that are moving, or objects that are IR hot or cold, or objects that are lassoed in 3D, we can preserve the resolution of those areas in the video. And by doing that, at the expense of the non-important regions, we can get the video compression down to as low as 50 kilobits a second. So what we're looking at here is our 3D situational display in TerraSite 3D Visualizer. And you'll notice there's an overhead view, multi-resolution terrain, and site models for the tents and other structures. On top of that, we have our cameras placed in 3D, and the draping is taking place of all the video sensors as we pivot around in six degrees of freedom. We can zoom in and out, we can rotate, we can tilt up and down, and what you see really is the cameras in context, where they are in the virtual world uh, and what they can actually see. We have full sensor control between this mobile command post and back at the FOB. Our verifier system to the left, you'll notice, is fusing in real time the visible and the IR spectrum at video rate, lining up the two sources precisely. And what's important here is we can see the areas of interest being hot or cold in the IR spectrum, corresponding to, for example, IEDs that are being uh, person born. Uh, but at the same time, we've mixed in the color information from the visible scene so that you can make out exactly what person or what object you're describing, uh, not just the IR, which would be very difficult to be able to discern which individual or which doorway, for example, without the color information. So what's novel here is the fusing of the EO and the IR spectrums in real time as we pan around and inspect the scene, in this case for vehicle security, to keep the vehicle safe from whoever's approaching. The vehicle also comes with queuing sensors, including the boomerang for acoustics and the SR Hawk ground surveillance radar. 